Welcome back to the channel. We're gonna be reacting to Charleston White disrespecting the dead. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below. From the log in, I'm making everybody look like a hypocrite, but because Gilly is one of their favorite celebrities, it's easy to feel sorry for him and be mad at me. And I'm telling everybody who mad at me, suck my. That nigga son. <laughs> hey, he be going crazy. This nigga is funny, bro. He be having me weak, bro. Give a f about that nigga son. That nigga son was playing gangster. And gangsters get and go to jail. And when gangsters go to jail, I don't cry. And I don't have no respect for the dead, homie. I don't have no respect for the dead. I have respect for my neighbor. I, I honor my mother and my father. I love my brother. Hey, look like he got a new little glass eye on the looks of it. This shit like a little, they look the same now. He getting to that chili, man. Disrespecting the dead got him a lot of money. I pray for my enemies. That I, yeah, nah, nigga, but I don't give a damn about the dead. When I go to the graveyard, I walk on top of the tombstone. Yeah, I spit on the grave. Yeah, nigga, I don't give a damn about the dead. <laughs> y'all do. I respect the living. So I'm saying to all y'all people, how can y'all have so much respect and honor for the dead, but not honor your mother and your father? So, nigga, I don't give a damn who mad. I done said worse before. And I'm going to say worse again. Did this Gilly... He going to keep going. So, if you getting mad at him, you wasting your time. Because he going to keep, keep popping it. Y'all going to have to play ball with him. He caught a law. Play ball, he going to call the law. Charleston. Let me know if y'all fuck with him. Down below, let me know. Comment or something, man. Uh, super thank you or something, man. Become a member to the channel, to the community. Become a member. Austin White back and forth. Did it start with the Pop Hunter situation? Yep. That's where all this started from. Because I didn't know who Gilly the King was. I just saw the Pop Hunter situation. We done that interview, right? And that's when yeah. Philly banned me. Back then, that's when, we, that's when I first had my problem with Philly. They was hollering about I couldn't come to Philly, what they was going to do. So Gilly the King, or whatever the nigga name is, he jumped in my inbox and said, is there a problem, Goofy? I'll be... Man, we ain't got premium, feel me? Be in Dallas, and when I see you, I'm going to slap you. And my response was, nigga, you ain't never slapped a nigga who will kill you. So we've been going back and forward. So he hopped in your but, DM. Now he hopped in my DM. Okay. Remember I screenshot it and sent it to yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah, you did. I remember. So when his son, when his son got uh I remember being on live when the news broke that day. And and, and one of my one of my partners who I consider a partner, Kareem Blitz, out of New York, got on my live. And he was chastening Gilly, saying, this is what you get. You promote these lyrics. You promote this energy. As a matter of fact, Gilly, when you had King Von and Dirk on y'all podcast and they start singing the songs about smoking Tuca, y'all were dancing to it. Hmm. He got a point, though. For real, for real. If y'all going to get on bro, get on them other niggas, too, because niggas be... Feel me smoking shit. <laughs> Y'all were dancing to it. When Pooh Shiesty called home from prison, that nigga was talking big dog talk. They wasn't rebuking that shit. When Jay Prince was on there making threats, they didn't check Jay Prince. So, nigga, y'all promote this detrimental shit. So, here I come, nigga. From day one, I've been against it. If your kid died playing gangster, I will laugh. If 
Hey, that's some fucked up shit. He's a cold motherfucker. I don't know if this is an act, his character. I don't know what the fuck going on in his little brain of his, but this nigga is raw. And it's funny. Oh, God, and I'm for it. If me and you get into it and your kid die in a car accident, I laugh. If your kid fall out the car to get run over by a truck, I laugh if I don't like you. If me and you get into it and your But he got a point though, cause everybody like that too though, so feel me when you on somebody helmet, you don't let up. You feel me? Like anything can happen, you're gonna be like, that's what that bitch get or that's what that nigga get. So but the nigga got a point, bro. He popping it, gang. Your baby get molested, I make mockery of your baby getting molested. So now that's wild though. Fuck your baby, nigga. I don't like you or your kids. I'm that kind of nigga. It's no different than the gang banging nigga when they ride through our neighborhoods and shoot these guns. Knowing that there's kids in the neighborhood. It's no different when Kobe Bryant got in his helicopter and they said, hey, Kobe, it's not safe for us to fly. And Kobe said, fly anyway and put everybody's life in jeopardy. He didn't, he didn't consider those other people. Nigga, I don't need them sometimes. Damn, that's some fucked up shit. He'll make you look at some shit a whole nother way, bro. This nigga is a sick individual. His fucking mind is poison. I don't know if he used to get bullied, slapped up, peed on. I don't know what the fuck this nigga got going on. But shout out Say Cheese TV, man. He running that bag up off this nigga, man. That's what we need niggas to do. Run that motherfucking bag up off this nigga. You hear me? Because he get talked too brazy. Am I wrong? I want to be wrong sometime when a nigga fucking with me. When a nigga fucking with me, I want to be as wrong as possible. So nigga, I want to be wrong. Gilly's son and fuck Gilly. But this is how this came about. A subscribe button. And if you want, you definitely can join to be a member of the Stingy K TV channel. Peace, love. And we'll see you on the next video.